Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Goin. In our today's video, we will talk about factoring difference of two squares. So right now, we have here this problem, 36y squared minus 100. This one is an example of expression that can be factored using difference of two squares. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Before we solve this, ito muna ang uunahin natin. Here are the given problems. In solving difference of two squares or factoring difference of two squares, ito yung pattern na gagamitin natin. We have a squared minus b squared. This one is an expression. As you can see, your first term a squared is a perfect square. Perfect square. Your b squared is also a perfect square. And as you can see, since difference yun, may subtraction sign sa gitna. And as you can see, ito yung, mga pat, ito yung mga given expressions natin. Now, to factor it out, ang gagawin mo lang naman is to pe prepare two sets of parentheses and para makuha mo yung a plus b, a minus b, itong a natin, a, get the square root of your first term which is a squared, the square root is a, nagay mo dito yung a, get the square root of your b square, that is b and b, and Lagay mo lang positive, negative, or pwede rin namang negative and positive. So for you to understand well what I'm saying here sa ating pattern, let's start with number 1. Number 1, we are given x squared minus y squared. This one is a perfect square, a perfect square, and you have this negative or subtraction sign. Get the square root of x squared, square root of x squared, is equal to x square root of y squared is equal to y. Prepare ka ng dalawang parenthesis. Ito and ito. x for your first terms, y for the second terms, and as you can see, we have there plus and minus, pero again, you can interchange the position of those operations. Pwede dito yung minus, dito yung plus. So we have here plus and minus. So this is our answer. This now, these are the factors of x squared minus y squared. Now let's continue with number 2. In number 2, we are given x squared minus 16. Sir, ang 16 by perfect square? Yes. So, the square root of x squared is x, okay? Ang square root naman ng 16 is equal to 4. So, what will happen here? Mag-prepare tayo ng dalawang set ng parentheses. Lagay mo dito yung x and x. Square root of 16 is 4. 4 and 4. So, pwede ditong minus and plus. Okay? So this is now, or these are the factors of x squared minus 16. As simple as that. Now let's move on with item number 3. For number 3, we have 25 x squared minus 1. Pero kung mapansin mo, yung ating first term, hindi lang siya basta x squared, meron tayong coefficient which is 25. Ang tanong dito, ang 25 ba ay isang perfect square? Yes. The square root of 25 x square is equal to 5x. Ibig sabihin nito, sa ating parenthesis here, your first terms ay 5x and 5x. Now, we know naman that the square root of 1 is 1. And 1. And then plus, minus. These are the factors of 25x squared minus 1. So let's continue with item number 5. By the way guys, your item number 4, 9, y squared minus 49 is your assignment. Please comment down below. Comment your answer. Okay? This will serve as your activity. And let's move on to item number 5. 
For number 5, as you can see, we have 18x squared minus 8y squared. Here, x squared is a perfect square as well as y squared. Your 18 and 8 are not perfect squares. So we will try to do something about it. And kailangan natin i-factor siya na kung saan one of the factors is a perfect square. So as you can see, we have 18 and 8. So I will factor out 2. Because using common monomial factoring, I can produce 2 times 9x squared minus 4y squared. And as you can see, the first term 9x squared is a perfect square as well as the second term. So what will happen here is we will get the pattern, factor it using difference of 2 squares, it will become 2 then prepare tie, uh, prepare tie in two sets of parentheses. The square root of 9x squared is 3x. So we have here 3x and 3x. The square root of 4y squared is 2y. So we have now 2y and 2y. The game line plus and minus. And these are the factors. The factors are 2 times 3x plus 2y times 3x minus 2y. So, I hope guys na natutunan nyo yung apat na example sa atin dito and I hope na masagutan nyo to. And now, let's go back with our main problem. Our main problem here is that we need to solve this or we need to factor this out. Remember the pattern, ha? Huh? Get the square root of this and the square root of this. Mag-prepare ka ng dalawang parenthesis. And, ayan na. The square root of 36 is 6. The square root of y square is y. Meaning, your first term is 6y. And this is 6y. The square root of 100 is 10. And 10. Then, nagigil din ng plus and minus. These are the factors of our main problem. 6y plus 10 times 6y minus 10. So I hope guys na you learned something from this video on how to solve or how to factor a given polynomial using the pattern of difference of two squares. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!